In this video we're going to take a look at the present value function in Excel and one of the uses of the present value function is to try and figure out how much money you can afford to borrow. Uh, so let's say that you're considering buying a house and you know that uh, you can afford uh, monthly payments of a thousand dollars and um, the interest rate on the loan is going to be eight percent annually. You'll make twelve payments per year and you're going to pay the loan off over 30 years and uh, obviously the balance will be zero at the end. So how much can you afford to borrow? Well, let's start filling in our numbers here. The payment is 1000 and we're going to make monthly payments so it's going to be 12 periods per year and we're going to pay the money back over 30 years. The annual interest rate is 8 percent and uh, the ending balance is going to be zero. Okay, And I put formulas down here this multiplies uh, the periods per year times the number of years and 30 times 12 is 360 so that's a total number of periods or number of payments and my rate has to be the rate per period not the annual rate so um, the annual rate is 8% let's double click on this and I divide it by 12 and what I get for a rate per period is this and we're going to make payments at the beginning I'm sorry, it says and. At the end of each month, so that'd be a zero. And now we want to figure out how much we can afford to borrow if we do that. And that is, we're trying to figure out the present value, the amount that we will have now when we, when we borrow the money. So let's uh, go to our formulas tab, uh, the financial book, and scroll down to PV. And our function arguments dialog box comes up here, and the rate is the rate per period, remember. Uh, the number of periods is this number we calculated. The payment is always negative. Put a minus sign here and then uh, click on the payment. Future value is our ending balance here. It's going to be zero and the type is going to be um, paying at the end of the month. And click on OK. And it tells you that if you do that you can afford to borrow $136,283 and a thousand dollars a month will pay that off over a period of 30 years and because we didn't build any numbers into our formula here everything is a cell reference if I double click on it, it just points at boxes over there and uh, we can easily change this um, you know let's say that you can get the loan for six percent instead of eight percent well then you can afford to borrow a hundred and sixty six thousand um, if you uh, think that your payment, uh, if you can only afford uh, $800 instead at 6%, then you can afford to borrow 133000 So uh, we have just solved the, this problem for, of trying to figure out how much you can afford to borrow for any numbers. All you have to do is change the numbers here, and your answer will show up over here.